Uh, so first, this is, you know, the very first meeting since the NCG has been established. So they really need to figure out all the nuts and bolts of how they want to operationalize this, how they even want to run uh, the, the meeting. But basically, they need to figure that they agree that they want to use this uh, platform or, or channel to discuss uh, what we call nuclear deterrence. So it's basically trying to um, prevent or dissuade North Korea from uh, attacking or invading South Korea with either conventional weapons or nuclear weapons. So that's the main purpose, but it's all about uh, how the two allies are going to prepare for this and how they're going to communicate uh, in, in times of a crisis. When something happens, what are their roles going to be? The reason why this is historic, why nuclear deterrence is being discussed for the first time between the allies is because until now, uh, a nuclear operation uh, is always going to be the decision of the American president and American operation. Uh, and, and that will always be true, but uh, nuclear war may not always be, be confined to a nuclear war. There could be conventional warfare, warfare as well. And so that's where South Korea's um, potential role would be in a supportive role on the conventional side if there happens to be uh, a conflict that does escalate to the nuclear level. So this really, again, this this group is to talk about all the situations, um, scenarios, and to plan and to uh, help prepare the allies for a potential crisis situation. And Jian, thanks for joining us once again. And uh, let's talk about how much of this uh, uh, NCG group meeting is really messaging to the South Koreans, really the, you know, as I quickly mentioned in my report, growing calls for the idea of South Korea arming itself with nuclear weapons. Do you think this inaugural meeting and the process to be continued would really put that to rest for now? I'm not sure if it will completely put it to rest, but it definitely serves a major and significant reassurance purpose, as you're mentioning to the South Korean people, uh, that America has South Korea's back, uh, that South Korea has a voice uh, in America's decision in some in the future, uh, if and when it, if the American president decides to use nuclear weapons, that South Korea has a voice now. Uh, and so that's that's a very significant development. Uh, and, you know, it, it, but it really depends, you know, going forward, it, it's really going to be South Korea Korean's perceptions, if they continue to get be worried about North Korea's nuclear weapons advancements, and they perceive Washington as not being proactive enough to solve the North Korean nuclear weapons problem, then I suspect that South Korean voices own their own nuclear weapons developments will only grow. But this NCG group is definitely a step in the right direction to reassure South Koreans. But the two allies will also have to uh, deal with the fundamental root causes of uh, the debate and those voices from South Korea's own 